a little bit scared. Welcome to Seashore and Vlog, and we're at Halloween Horror Nights, Singapore. A proper bucket list item to go to any Halloween Horror Night in the Indonesian park, and we've got Singapore. You're looking forward to getting some scares, some local scares. Let's see if I do get scares this time, I generally don't. I generally just laugh my way through. Let's head in. Well, it's a party atmosphere and Horror Nights in here. We'll tell you about the past we've got in a second. It's a bit loud. That was some entrance to the park for Halloween Horror Nights. The crowd, the, there is an intense crowd. But we're gonna go through the first scare zone, we'll probably head round to the house that's the furthest away and start there. It's gonna be good, there's four houses, three scare zones, two shows, and a private lounge, Viper Lounge, that we've also got a ticket for, so we're gonna head in there. But I think we're gonna go through Netherland. It's not gonna be great with this crowd, so hopefully it thins out a bit. step into Louis just for the crowd to move on a little bit because it's really really crowded out there and everyone needs to spread out a bit but it's only just open so we've come in here grab a cool drink Diet Co uh, Coke Zero Tiger Beer $15.30 about nine quid yeah are all open for horror nights but we're not really here for them we're just here for the scares music's good copyright 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 <laughs> enjoy your beer this is meant to be the scary house Singapore's most haunted the killings based on true hauntings in Singapore. We might save that one to last. We're gonna head past Jurassic Park first and do under the castle I think is the first house. Look at some of these snacks. This onion looks good. Fingers. So this is gonna be our first house under the castle and it's a Team Wang designed house. Apparently, they are a famous design team. We've just done our first house under the castle. Yeah, I wasn't that impressed. It's just one thing we've found out. So we're with Caroline, she needs a, an express pass. So we've got the gap pass for here. But going through the house, it appears that one of the staff members has to push you through the, wheel, push the wheelchair through the yeah. house rather than me like it is in Orlando, which is fine, I guess. I can walk in front of you and you can see me getting scared because I'm the one who gets all the scares. You did get scared a couple of times. You there was a bear in there that got me. You, got, you, you jumped two or three times. Yeah. But he, I, he knocked us into the wall a couple of times, bless him. Oh, bless him. And I would say, on, on, judging by that first house that we went through, it's wider and lighter than Orlando. Yeah, so there's... But well, we'll see the other ones. Yeah, they might was, not be. You could see everything going on and it was much lighter. Yeah, and so wider. I, I think that takes... Lots of actors in there, though. Yeah, I think that takes away from... A little bit, a so. little bit. Lots of actors in there and lots going on, lots of scares as well. Uh, I'd, however, I'd give it a, probably a two out of ten. I also wonder that sometimes do they not do the scares because of me? No, they do them all. They do them all. Well, I didn't get out. Two I, out I, of ten. I maybe got two or three people jump out at us. Yeah. What would you rate it? I would say two. Two as well. Yeah. Let's do the next one. 
they have made the far far away castle look quite spooky there's a show on here every half an hour so we'll try and catch that show next i think works here as well nobody filled up all the space in front of the castle or left it so that there was like a layer of sitting then us that was like kind of crouching and then all standing behind then nobody like anybody who came in front moved out of the way like the, the yeah, very nobody, if there was people that were shorter or in wheelchairs or whatever that just moved out the way so yeah. people could see much better fantastic much better. fantastic that was good we need to go and do another house, another house yeah. and, or maybe a scare zone first lost kampung do a scare zone yeah scare zone then a house then a scare zone then a house work that work or does it not work <laughs> i don't know Boop. you need to check out what the um the special treats are for the night and stuff see what they're like Sausage. and also we need to check out the vip lounge the viper lounge we've got a ticket for that yeah let's head into this scare zone This one's like a little walking trail, actually. Kind of like an outdoor house. Yeah. Lots of hanging. Uh, people need to take their washing in. <laughs> I like that, um, what do you call it? The mirror. Scare zone. Scare zone. <laughs> I like that scare zone, although it was more like an outdoor house, but just said as we were walking around, I don't know if you, you call that, more like an outdoor house. Loads of, I think they were doing an actor change though, because loads of actors came out halfway through, so I think we're going to have to do that again. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was really, really good. I like that. That's how this should be done, I think. Yeah. We'll go on this one. It's meant to be the scariest. Let's find out. We'll tell you about it when we come out. We just did Singapore Most Haunted The Killing. Sorry, I was looking over there at the sign. The assistant that helped us on this one was different to the first one. Yeah. First one they put, they said he had to push. This one I pushed, but it was narrower and more sharp corners, so that didn't really make sense. But they kept put, put a torch on in front. He walked in front this time with a torch. So this was a darker house, yeah. um, or at least it would have been if he wasn't shining a torch in front of Caroline. I d it wasn't dark enough that I couldn't see where I, I was pushing. No, I think the, the actual, I don't think that- we've, we've pushed through pitch black and been fine. In so. my opinion, I don't think the houses are dark and lighting as yeah. when you're in the Orlando one. Well, the first in my opinion. Anyway. Yeah. We shouldn't really compare, but this is meant to be scarier, and, it, and so far it isn't. Um, but that's, it might just be because of the way that they're doing the assistance with us here, I, I don't know. Um, I would consider that 
better than the first one. The, the theming was, was really brilliant. good. Yeah, theming was really good. There was a few actors not in position though. There was the, a few empty scare bits. There were some good scares in there. There were got a couple. You jumped a few times. Not as yeah. many as the bear one in the first one, but uh, yeah, that was still decent. Let's I, see. I personally feel that when they do the jump out of me, they don't jump out the same way as oh, the jump out. Oh, they definitely do. Do you think? Yeah, well, they I definitely just, do. Obviously, I just don't just, get scared. Nothing scares you. I mean, you wake up next to me every day, so nothing's <laughs> going to scare you, is it? We'll see what the assistance in the next house is like, What, how it differs to the to the first two. We've got another scare zone to do as well. Um, I'm still having a good night. Um, it's not as horrific as I thought it was going to be so far. Well, but it's still a good night. But everything we've read so far, we read that it was really scary and like, people look, have been taking ambulances and stuff. To take and people away. I never, but... Someone had a heart attack going through the killings, apparently, I was told, by one of the staff. And I was like, really? Um, one thing I would say, though, is going through both of those houses, it's just one long scream for other people going through. Yeah, it was literally Just one long scream. scream, scream. <laughs> like, the whole place is just screams. Yes. Whereas they must get a weird bit weird because I laugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just laugh. Should we go and find another one? And the next one is a scare zone. Maybe I might get some radioactive goo. We're going back through that scare zone with the eyeball people. Loud here. Yeah. Loud in the music. down Vampire Alley now, which is another scare zone. Hi. I think the girl in front's a little bit scared.
in front is like terrifying. Oh, there's a vending machine. Viper Lounge, you get two alcoholic drinks and canapes. I have no idea what they are. They smell good though. I don't think you can have them. I think it's like fingers and toes. I think. Finger. We had meets vampires. <laughs> he didn't like that. where all the vampires come to hang out. Caroline's got some petrified mushrooms. It's loud and fun in here, lots going on. Lots going on. I still think he's beer meat food. He's twin anyway. Try your petrified mushrooms. Happy with them. We are just waiting for the dog dream show to start. Starts in about 10 minutes, but we've just left the Viper Lounge, which was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed that. Something's happening. Oh. Viper Lounge, um, really good, lots of interaction, 
from all the actors in there. Really, really good. Yeah, very loud, very dancey music, but they did really, really well. The yeah, food was brilliant, they were. delicious. They were. I really liked the chicken pizza thing and the hot dog. You really like those mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms were really nice. I've never had those kind of mushrooms before. The sauce that they did them with, like the dish that they gave them with was nice. Not spicy, spicy, just a a little kick, but it was different. I've never, yeah. had a, I've never had a spicy sauce like that before. The Viper Lounge was an upcharge, which we paid for. Uh, we bought that through Kluk, the same place we bought the Halloween Horror Nights ticket. It was an upcharge, but it, I think $35 Singapore dollars each for a cocktail, an alcoholic cocktail each and canapes and all of that entertainment was definitely worth the money. Can I pee? Yeah. And, beer, and we might be at me food. I still think he looks he, like the edge. I do. Although he seems to have a hanger in for blood. On me. Um, Should we watch this show and then do the last two houses? And I was just about to say the music in there is with a mixture of different types of mu like music over the ages, but mixed kind of with a Har Halloween dancey feel to it. It's yeah. A bit weird, but it, yeah, it was, it was good. Here's the Dark Dream show. I thought it was funny, clever. A couple of bits I didn't film were my favourite bits where someone fell from the ceiling, but I did like the spider at the end. That's what I mean. And the whole drowning thing was pretty It was cool. a different show, not what I expected, but. Yeah, I was unique, expecting unique, like. A, uniquely different. I was expecting like a dance show or something. What, That's what, what I was expecting. Yeah, but it was more like a comedy dance act. It was quite good. I wouldn't say it was comedy. There was been some comedy in there when he got the audience put person out. Reading her mind. Oh, that I, didn't know if she, I didn't know if she was a plant. No, the she guy, wasn't. The other guy was. The guy was a plant. But she, she wasn't because she didn't want to get up, right? 
Yeah, but then she started doing things on the bed, like she was a flat. She just got into it, I think. Just got into it. That, that, that was a good show. Uh, and we've just done the Cursed Scrolls house as well. That is a clever, clever house. 3D. 3D. You get 3D glasses. Not really, it's not really a scary house. So Cursed Scrolls was pretty good. I think that's one of my favorite mazes I've ever done because of its cleverness with the 3D. It was hot, it was difficult to see where to go with pushing the wheelchair, but it was really, really clever with the 3D. Just not very scary, just really, really clever. Yeah, the 3D was good. Assistance wise, they had someone in front of us and someone behind this time. So again, three, three houses, three totally different types of assistance we've had. There may be a reason behind that, but they didn't let me do the end bit as well. No, yeah, this, we skipped the end for some reason. They, they walked us out. And the last house, we, we don't think we can do it. Sweet the home, it's closed right now, so we're just waiting for that to open, and then that's the final thing we need to do. There's been an incident. Yeah, we've had a really good night. It's been different, that's for sure. I think the best thing about it's been... Spending time with you. The music. Um, and probably the, the scare zone, so sort of like walking through the scare zone and then that final... The yeah, high... not the very first scare zone no. with the one-eyed people, but uh, the, other, the other two that are more one... like outdoor houses. Yeah. yeah. Especially the one with the screaming girl in front of us. Yeah. That, that was the best one. And entrance have been really good as well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and see if we can do that final house. That last house at Sweet Home, that, that gave me the most scares of the night. That was probably the, the best one as well. Really as well themed as well. 3D one. I preferred, so I preferred the two last houses and the, three the, two, and the, and the two last scare, scare zones. Yeah, I, I, I agree. The, the house that was meant to be the most scariest, I don't get how that was scary. I mean, no. I don't get frights of stuff really, so... The but, last two were the best though. Yeah, but the theming of the last two was much, much better. The three, the, the Cursed Scrolls and Sweet Dreams. And the fact that, that, that you got more frights made me think that it was more scary. Yeah. Had a really good night at Horror Nights. This is definitely not as scary as it's made out to be. No. It's probably the least scariest Halloween event I've ever been to, but it was still a lot of fun. I don't, what I don't get was how people were screaming so much. I yeah. really don't, I didn't get that. Would you pay the money again, David? It's a thing, yeah, yeah, absolutely, because it was quite cheap. It was only, I can't remember how much it was. The price was at the beginning, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't too expensive. It's only the 12th one that's done, so. Yeah, yeah. So that brings this Halloween Horror Nights vlog to a close. We'll see you in the next video where we're doing some more Singaporean stuff. Keep making memories. Catch you later.